a big red blob off the coast of Florida. Why? Here's Mike Masco. Explain <laughs> it all. Yeah, I, got, I got a lot to talk about. Kelly, Jamie, hope you had a good summer. Well, you're not alone. The spiders had a great summer, experts are saying. They're now fatter and happier to the warm and wet summer we've enjoyed. Now, the warm and wet weather has made for more food available for them to eat. Therefore, they're now growing in much larger size than normal. Uh, temperatures, as the temperatures continue to fall, the spiders will soon make their way into your homes. And in order to keep warm and find a mate, so scientists are saying, do not be shocked to seeing monster spiders this year, especially in urbanized areas where there is an abundance amount of food for them to eat. Was the San Francisco earthquake a preview of what's to come? Now, scientists feel we could expect more 9.0 megaquakes in the future. Now, so far, it's usual to see that 9.0 quake every 10,000 years. However, in 2004 and 2011, we saw two megaquakes in a seven-year period. So what's even more puzzling is that these quakes are occurring in areas that shouldn't see such large earthquakes. One scientist says Northern California is well overdue for a massive 9.0 earthquake. And figure shows, should that happen, it might kill more than 10,000 people and cause $90 billion in damage. You know, what's so concerning about all this is the lack of understanding we have about earthquakes, and there's really no time to prepare for one or even predict them. Not good news there. All right, finally, John Marco will not like this one. Florida is dealing with a big red blob. A slow-moving glob of toxic algae has formed over the northeast section of the Gulf of Mexico. Now, it has killed sea turtles, sharks, and fish, and is now threatening the waters along the beaches of western Florida. This red tide, as it's typically referred to, is 60 miles wide and 100 miles long. That's the distance, guys, from D.C. to Baltimore, and it's right now floating off of Clearwater Beach. Whew. Similar red tide occurred in 2005 off of Florida's west coast. That caused millions in economic loss and the death of millions of fish. So hopefully this red tide will stay offshore and kind of dissolve itself out. Those are just some of the science stories making news today. Mike Masco, ABC2. All right, thank you.